dog on the bed arm Vanity Beach in April. It's a bit breezy today, it's 23 degrees, but it's bloody breezy. And we're gonna have a walk around and see what's going on in Benidorm. It's on the corner of uh, Levante Beach just here. And uh, just there you've got the McDonald's and the Burger Kings. And you've got all these hotels overlooking the lovely picturesque part of the beach. Oh, I'm gonna get run over here by an ambulance. But yeah, just up there to the left, if you was to go up there, you can come to the famous cross, La Crosse of Benidorm. And that's featured in the Benidorm series. And you get some fantastic uh, views of the sea. And also all over Benidorm. And uh, what's going on here? We've got cable skiing going on just here as well. Going across here with a few ramps. Here goes, this is the one. This one's, yeah, he looks professional, this one. I think he's gonna go straight up the ramp. Yeah, he's even saluting. No. So this is Levante Beach, two o'clock in the afternoon, midweek. And as you can see, everyone's lapping up the sunshine. I mentioned before, we're a nice little cool breeze, but when you're in that sun, you don't feel nothing. Meanwhile, we're waiting for Evil and Evil to take off on this ramp. Oh, well, we won't be waiting around. Doesn't look like there's any professional skiers about today. But we're just going to take a stroll along the promenade. Lovely beaches, that's for sure. All blue flag beaches in Spain. Can't go wrong. Cleaned every day. But remember they've got this law out now you can't go on a beach after 12 o'clock you will get a fine so all them people that used to have a little beach parties anyone get caught now on a beach after 12 o'clock to i think it's seven in the morning you're gonna get a fine cleaning our act right up there and of course uh, some of these beaches yeah. as well you've got no smoking and that does include vapes in the summer season all these blue chairs there sun lounges will be absolutely jam-packed but we've just had the uh, midweek break the easter holidays so come up another month or so you won't be able to move on this beach if you've never been to benedorm before well if you're up this end of levante beach and you used to follow it all the way around and you won't be able to go too far and then you'll come up to the old town and that's where you've got the famous tapas alleys and the proper spanish areas and the little shops and everything definitely worth a trip if you come into benedon tapas alley is brilliant got a couple of hotels in there as well right in the middle of the old town and uh, you follow it around you'll be on Ponte beach and then you've got the arbor there you can take your trips across on a boat to Peacock Island or if you want to go to Backer Island. And all these Owlop shops, they're just pulling up everywhere, aren't they? I feel like they're following me around, these Owlop shops. Ready for a drink, Nice little uh, bar there, look. Happy hour. Sex on the beach, cocktails. That's five euros fifty or a pint of Amstel, two fifty. But if you go a few streets back and then you go into a new town, new part of Benidorm, just around the back there, you start picking up these pints a bit or a euro. Obviously, your pound premium for being on the front here. You gotta love Benetton with these uh, mobility scooters. You don't have to have a, a mobility to have them. It seems like a going trend out here. No matter what age you are, you can pick up the double ones or the single ones. We've even got the woman selling cars driving around on them, the old lottery cars. She's on a, a mobility as well. Just everywhere, isn't they? There we go, have your ice cream. Go on the mobility. Plenty of entertainment going along the front of these bars, blaring out the music. 
So you've got some nice little eating places just up here on the right. You can people watch and have something to eat. And a lot quieter as well. I mean Benadon, famous for its stag parties and then parties. They really want to try and uh, clean it up as well. They're trying to cut it out in a lot of these uh, Spanish islands as well. <laughs> they don't want all this going on, bringing the area down. They're trying to clean up all these stag parties. Because they can get a bit rowdy, I must say. There we go, look at that. Looks like a mark bike, that scooter. This looks like a lovely bar. What's that? King Coco. King Coco, yeah. And this is a promenade, what they do there, a gay pride on as well. They come along here. Yeah? And also, most of their parades, they end up coming along this promenade. You know you're in Benadon when you start coming across London supermarkets and you wouldn't get that in Spanish town. Now this is a popular bar we're just coming up here on the right. It's called The Jungle. And it's two euros fifty for a pint in the jungle. And a cocktail's five euros fifty. Or a gin and tonic for five fifty. And just after that one, this is probably one of the loudest bars in Benidorm on the front. Always Ramo in the old Tiki bar. And this is where you're gonna find all the stags and the ends here. Absolutely loud and noisy. So you look at a lively bar, this is the one. So that was a noisy beach bar. Just as busy next door in the next bar. <laughs> and we even got the little rights here for the kiddies. go buggies bikes got it all going on here and now we are up by the les dunes hotel this is a nice little hotel that one actually stayed in that one nice clean a little bit pricey you, know, you can get deals out of season and if you actually want to eat down here you mostly have to reserve your table because it's quite popular We've got a swimming pool at the back and an eaty pool as well. So this is uh, all Levante Beach Promenade. There we go, we've got a few ends there. Now we're going to just come off the promenade now. We're not going to go straight down towards the old town. We're going to have a quick look around the back and we'll uh, check out the uh, new town. And that is super duper busy. No matter what time of year, you'll get all the rowdy ones in the bar having a time of their life. So, yeah, we're just gonna check down now. We're gonna just go straight over, cross the lights, and uh, chuck the right, and then we'll be in the land of Nod where all the cheap yo bars are. Let's go past the cannabis store. And your hairdressers, and of course, just over in the new this town. This is where well, you're yeah. going to find all the tribute acts going on in all the bars down here, and the Palladium, and all the cabaret shows, all down in a new town. And they normally start from the evening, eight o'clock, and some of them show two or three different entertainers through the night. And uh, they're all free; you don't pay at all for any of these uh, tribute acts to see. You might pay a little bit more for your drink than you would normal places. But of course, they've got to pay for the entertainer one way or other. But yeah, it's not expensive. 
So this is the main part everyone comes to and they watch all this tribute acts at night. So we got Planet Benetton here, the Rovers return, and he's simply the best on the corner. You got the jumping jacks, and of course you've got the famous place here, of course, where the Beatles are. Absolutely superb, eh? There they are. They're still alive. Cannot believe it. And this is where you will find all the entertainment at night. And this uh, White Star Disco Benadorm, right on the corner here, Hotel Marina. It is actually a hotel. It's got its own big pool there as well, right there. And they've got a massive screen you can see in the distance there for your football. And we got the Dublin Irish Bar just there, and this is absolutely Ram Old Paddy's Day. Mind you, they're all Ram Old Paddy's Day, but this is being a typical typical Irish bar it is always busy I mean this is late afternoon not until night time you're gonna start seeing it proper living up not to say it's already busy got another bar here being done up oh these bars change hands year after year so yeah all these uh, Apartments here look pretty new just the way they're all been redone up, that's for sure. And then we got the KFC and you know, all there you go. The Rose and Crown, yeah, they're nice people in the Rose and Crown. We've been in there. Really nice people. They do karaoke in there as well and an entertainment. And if you're in a bit of kebab here, you can get a nice uh, kebab and chips around nine euros. I've done that long they've been there. They don't look too fresh, I must say. There we go. There we go, we got someone here, look at that, eh? Hey? Hello, boss, how are you, there coach? Go. A real fabulous, guys. These are the real better dawn stars. Two pints for four euros. Two pints for In four Lockness. euros. Karaoke bar. Oh. Karaoke bar, okay. Two there you go. Only four euro. And what's the name of the bar? Lockness Fun Pub. Bar. Okay. Lockness. Loch Ness Bar. Loch Ness Monster. Ah, the Scottish Loch Ness yeah. Monster, yeah. And two euros a pint of beer, that is cheap as chips. Come back now, So here we go, this is uh, the red line, this is where you get all the shows going on. I mean, Sticky Sticky is actually gone, but her daughter's still going. You're going to see her in this place here, which is the red line. I mean, you've got the, you've got the old uh, Romeo as well, here as well. Happens here. We've got the Michael Jacksons, the lot, the Madonna. So we're in the Madonna and Michael Jackson, all happening in the Red Lion. But that's all late at night. Well, Rockefellers, we've got another kebab, Mr. Chips. Oh, we've got a top show there. Strip tease, oh yeah. The Jalas Rock, and we have a nightclub. Oh, I'd say so much going on down here. There we go, we've got another Crown Pub. Or bar. All got specials going on, look at that. You can have uh, 15 euros. You get six or seven bottles, cocktails, jugs of cocktails. These are the sort of prices you're going to be paying here, look at that. You can get jugs of cocktails for 15 euros. Keep as chips. all the show going on we can even get some naughty uh, t-shirts done up if you're after some naughty t-shirts in Benetton got them all here oh dear f off that's not good is it we've got the Jack Daniels Western Saloon yeah. oh it looks like we've got a kind of steak going on here as well nice pink looks pretty clean as well Oh, this one looks a new bar. Bloody hell, this is busy, isn't it? John and Joseph original. Wow, super busy in there. And we've got the Palladium down here. That's a great little place, the old Palladium. And if you're into uh, the Black Chicken bar, this is well known in here. This is the Black Chicken bar. And of course, right next door, that's where you've got the Palladium. And it ain't cheap. That's complete opposite. Nice 
But that's where all the entertainment goes on. The black chicken is the one. If you want cheap drinks and like karaoke, this place is super famous for it. Got a nice little uh, bar here and all. Wackity. Uh, a newish hotel there, Hotel Rudolph. And just along here, you've got the uh, famous Morgan's Bar, the tavern. And they do all sorts of entertainment in here as well. And it's absolutely superb, isn't it? Hey? Look at that boat. And just up here, you've got the police and the tourist information office. And that one over there, that's another rowdy bar. That is always super duper busy. And uh, across there, we've got the wine barrel. So if you're after some real cheap uh, booze, you can get two liters of vodka or rum, whatever you drink, gin, like 15 euros. Absolutely crazy. And the old wine barrel, so I say. And you want to ride one of these mobility scooters out. This is where you can get it. And there we go, we've got all price there, three days, or you can have it for a month. A month's cheap, of course, 150 a month on one of these scooters. Or you're going to have a 40 euros a week. It's all different prices, it all depends how posh you want to go with your scooter, I suppose. Oh, of course, we're coming up to that, that's the cheap shop I was telling you about. And I mean cheap, look at these prices, God, they're crazy, absolutely crazy cheap with a bath in these spirits than it is with water. Now wine barrel. Next door you've got the famous hotel of course that was in Benidorm. Yes. Yeah. And that's, uh, this is the uh, hotel of that, even got the scooters parked outside, you couldn't make it up could you? This is, uh, and this was in the famous Benidorm, this is where it was filmed. We'll have a peep over and show you. You've got a great bar up here as well. Right next to the Silver Dollar, you've got the uh, Piccadilly, and I love eating a Piccadilly. This one is like karaoke special. If you're into karaoke, Piccadilly is the place you need to go. No matter what time of day, it is super duper busy. Just before you get to the Piccadilly, you've got the Silver Dollar. It's another fabulous bar, and it's really picturesque inside. Piccadilly, of course, the British club, so that's probably the reason why it is super duper busy. And this is where we're going to finish our video. We're going to start off and have a drink of Piccadilly. Hope you like the video. Afternoon, two o'clock, and it's livening up.